purpose of this video is just to give you a little bit of a run through, a very short tutorial on how to use the anatomy app. So if you click on the app, you might go through a couple of prompt pages, but eventually you'll, you're going to get to this page. And so if you see, there's a lot to choose from. So at the top, you have different views. You can look at media. There's different quizzes. I'm not going to require you guys to do any of that on here. Um, I will, though, have you guys do um, some uh, drawing on the screen. And I want you guys to be able to be comfortable enough to know that you're not really going to mess anything up. Um, it can save this, this app can save your work, or if you're just, you want to start from scratch, you can also start over. So don't worry about, you know, ruining anything on your app. Um, you'll always be able to go back to the original view. So if you look here, um, at the, the second sort of row at the top, you have regions, systems, gross anatomy, lab, cross sections. I currently have it on systems. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this, and the first thing we're going to start out with is the eye, and I want you guys to use this app to visualize the eye in a way that you might never have even been able to think about. So um, we're going to go to uh, regions, and I'm going to show you how to look at the eye in reference to the brain, and then I'm going to show you the, the uh, microanatomy tab, which will have the eye kind of separated out. But this is a really cool app because you can manipulate the image and you can move it around. So we're going to click on number one, which is head and neck. And here I'm using my Apple Pencil because it's a lot more precise than my finger. Now you can use your finger, but know that sometimes um, if you're kind of dissecting out parts, it can actually uh, you know, be a little bit too broad of an area. And some of this is really, really specific. So the way that you do this, and this is just takes practice. Um, on my iPad, I'm just taking two fingers. So I'm taking my middle finger and my thumb, and I'm putting them on together. And that's how I'm moving the image around, okay? Um, and you can blow it up by uh, pulling those fingers apart. And then you can, um, uh, well, I guess that's more of zooming in and zooming out by pulling your fingers together. And I would just practice this on your iPad just till you get comfortable. Now I'm going, if, if you really want to zoom in, sometimes I'll take um, fingers on opposite hands and then um, I will sort of pull them um, apart to really get get in there. So I'm just manipulating this. I'm moving this around. And then as you start to practice with the two fingers and then the one finger, you'll see that you can actually rotate the image and you can move it and blow it up and lower it and, and zoom in and zoom out to your heart's content. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the dissect feature at the bottom and I just clicked on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually manipulate this and move this around to take away some of this um, extra skin, extra muscle, um, what have you, so that you guys can see how the eye connects to the back of the brain. So here I'm just using my pencil and I'm just tapping on the just different structures. So as I tap, it's going to show you at the uh, top right what you've dissected out and what you've what you've removed. If you accidentally do something that you didn't mean to dissect, there is at the top um, an undo button, um, and that will bring it back to um, where you were and also uh, undissect that that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and dissect out. And you can either hide it completely or you can fade it away. But these I'm just going to hide. So I'm going to take out some of these, um, these muscles so that you guys can kind of get a better view inside the eye. And so what you're seeing here is you're seeing the orbital bone. Um, I'm taking off part of the um, structures on the head so that we can see the skull. So these are just... Um, just moving moving these away and I'm just tapping on them. That's all I'm doing is just tap with the pencil. Um, and so I'm just taking away some of the jaw here structures again just so that we can see inside. Um, now, as you can see here, you see the skull and this is nice because you're like, okay, well, it's well protected, but let's go in even further. So we're gonna take some of the bone out uh, so that we can kind of see deeper in here and you're going to see the meninges in the layer of the brain. We're going to take that out, take out some more of the skull. I'm going to take off this 
portion of the um, bone here so that you can see again just kind of where this is this is in relation to the brain um, so I'm just literally just dissecting out structures um, what's really cool here is that you can kind of see already um, there's a lot of there's a lot of blood supply um, but I want to show you guys what that looks like if you kind of move it around so there's these muscles that you can see on the side of the eyes that are used to move the eye left and right up and down um, you can see that on here you can do the draw feature and you can um, so this will uh, draw it in a 3d way so we can go ahead and start drawing um, and I can show you here do you see that that these are the muscles that are used to pull the eye so that's really um, kind of neat to be able to see that um, I'm gonna go back to the dissect feature here um, and so here we can move let's say let's remove part of the ear um, let's remove these structures so that you can kind of see I can remove uh, that part of the brain just so that you can kind of see here um, we're gonna move the cerebellum and the neck so I'm gonna remove the cere cerebellum here and you can actually see some really cool uh, vasculature you can also see here how it connects in terms of um, nerves to the to the back of the brain so um, these are some really uh, this is a really fun feature and you can you can remove these the, the vasculature as well and the blood supply um, if you want to get in there and really see they're a little bit harder because you have to really blow it up to get some of that you know out of the way uh, to be able to get in there and get a really good view but as you're removing it it's going to tell you exactly what you're removing now so that's one way and I really like that because you can kind of see how the how the bundle uh, nerve uh, bundle works together uh, to get that information from the eyeball to the brain um, I'm going to show you another view which is for um, the uh, eye itself and I'm just clicking at the top here of microanatomy and here we're going to uh, and as you see the first three are related to the eye so I'm just going to click on this first one here which is really cool to see the different parts of the eye you can rotate it you can see the retina you can see uh, rods and cones it's really really cool now if you don't want to dissect or let's say we want to dissect this just out of the way just so that we can get in there a little deeper um, what you can do is instead of dissect click on multi select and it'll actually show you what you're looking at um, so we let's dissect the vitreous body out so that we can see this a little bit better okay so we're gonna go back to multi select so you can see you can click on this the lens you can click on the different um, uh, processes here ciliary processes the muscles um, this is a really cool feature to kind of show you like that's the iris that's showing you what you're clicking on and what you're looking at now one thing that I really like about this so you can draw directly on this um, and you can kind of see what you're looking at here what um, you can do to help you study is um, for example you can go to uh, a, a, a view that you really like okay and let's say you want to say well what is you know what is this or what is that you know that's the retina right um, and then uh, you maybe want to take notes on this so you can either draw on this or you can decide that you want to um, uh, take a picture of it right so if you want let's say let's get this muscle out of the way and you want to take a picture of it um, you can do a screenshot so you can um, on your iPad if you click your home button and your power button I'm just kind of trying to find it and then you uh, do them at the same time it's gonna take a screenshot and you can actually take this screenshot and you can edit it you can draw on it you can decide uh, I'm gonna place this view in my notes because this is the view that I want to uh, you know make notes on and um, put this in the slide because this is helpful to me so um, and it, you can decide if you want to save it, if you want to delete it, if you want to start over, and then you can make drawings on that, on the screenshot itself, or you can make drawings um, directly from the app and then take a screenshot of that and include those in your notes. Um, that's a really helpful way 
to uh, stay up to date on your notes and to get a really good visual. And you can take as many as you want on this and as many angles as you feel that you need to do so. Uh, and you can also do that on the other view as well. So hopefully this was just a just a kind of a, a run through of how you use the app in terms of just basic use. Um, there's a lot more you can do with it and I encourage you to play. Um, you can go back to a different um, a different uh, view. You can look at different um, uh, views of the eyeball, for example. Um, and this is just a really cool way of being able to visualize anatomy. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm definitely going to have this in some f form or fashion in class, whether it's the journal, um, the journals and activity points um, or some version of that. So make sure you uh, explore this app. Don't be afraid of it. Um, it will uh, hopefully improve your understanding of anatomy.